Hello and welcome to today's video. I want to talk with you about how you can become guilt-free and give you a work-life balance strategy if you're a corporate woman. Uh, hello and my name is Kathleen Byers and I am the founder of a company called Redefine the Good Life and the creator of a program called Corporate Women Unleashed where our mission is to end the sacrifice that prevents successful women from enjoying a fulfilling and balanced life. Every day I speak with female executives and corporate women who are worn out from the constant feeling of guilt. Let me ask you, does this sound familiar? Do you ever feel guilty when you fail to pick up the kids, especially when you told them you would be there tonight or you promised your husband it was your turn? Do you feel guilty when your kids give you the cold shoulder after a business trip instead of those warm hugs you were hoping for? Do you ever feel guilty because you told your husband, oh, I'll be there to watch a show in five more minutes? And then an hour of emails go by and he goes to bed without you. And do you feel guilty when your family keeps asking you, hey, look, we get that your career is important to you, but what is all of this hard work really for? And conversely at the office, you know, do you feel guilty if you fall asleep early one night and you miss an important late night email? right? Especially from the leadership team. You wake up in the morning horrified. Do you feel guilty if you skip a meeting at work for a school event? Do you feel like you should really stay in the office? And do you just feel guilty every time you try to tell your company no because you feel like you should really be telling them yes? Have you tried, let me ask you, prioritizing your workload without success? Have you tried leaving work early only to rush like a mad woman through traffic because in truth, once again, you left 15 minutes late. And have you tried hiring a nanny, an au pair, housekeeper, a meal delivery service? But all that's really doing for you is creating an even greater sense of disconnection from your family and your life. Have you tried putting away your laptop and your smartphone at night, but somehow they always creep back out a few days later? And what about delegating more work to your team? But somehow that work seems to come right back at you. It's like a rubber band, isn't it? Or what about simplifying your life or saying no to all the extras? We're going to have a simple weekend. We're not going to do much anymore on the weekends. We're going to say no to more extracurricular activities. But a few months down the road, all of a sudden, your life is overwhelmed once again. Here's the big question, though. Do you rationalize your guilt as something you'll have to live with, even though deep inside you wish it wasn't true? Time and time again, I hear women say, oh, you know... I mean, I re really wish I could spend more time with my kids and I miss my husband. I mean, he does so much. I feel so guilty about it. But I mean, what's a girl going to do? I mean, there's only so much of me to go around. I mean, that's just part of it, right? Working mom, you're going to have guilt. Well, look, the truth is, ladies, that guilt is not normal. No matter what our culture scape tell us, tells us, that's dogma. And nor is it something you have to live with. In truth, guilt is simply an emotional sign that something is out of alignment in your life. And powerful female business leaders are absolutely capable of living a guilt-free life without giving up your lucrative career. Let me show you how. In fact, living a life without constant guilt, stress, and pressure is actually something that should be expected. So here's a couple reasons you are feeling guilt. First of all, you may have an ingrained belief that you must sacrifice your personal life for your career. We see this all the time in movies. We see it on TV. We're told this in college. We're told this in school. Everything is about getting good grades, success, achievement. And if you're not working hard, you must be a failure. Well, at some point, hard work is important and nobody says we want to be a slacker. But if you believe that success requires constant sacrifice, what kind of life is that? You can't even enjoy the success you have. So this is a belief that has to change. And the belief needs to be, wait a minute, I've built success now in my career. Now I'm going to build a successful life. And recalibrating that belief is the first step to no longer feeling guilty if you're not constantly at the office. All right, too. You may secretly want more time with your kids or spouse, but you feel trapped in your career. So if you're dropping your kids off every morning at preschool, or if you're calling your husband and saying, I have another business trip, and every time you do, you feel horrible, that's just your psychological self saying, this isn't what you really want. 
You want more connection time with your kids. You want more connection time with your husband. So you're not being authentic with what you really want. And that is a sign. Guilt is simply a sign that says, hey, 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 you're out of alignment. You're not living congruently with what you believe. And so once we dial that in, guess what? The guilt goes away. Now, I love, love, love this quote from Brene Brown. She does so much work um, in research on guilt and shame. If you, if you haven't read any of her stuff, I highly recommend her, her books. But she says, I believe that guilt is adaptive and helpful. It's actually holding something we've done or failed to do up against our values and feeling psychological discomfort. So just like Brene says, it's just a sign that's telling you something. But if it's telling you something, you need to listen to it, not live with it. All right, so normally people ask me, Kate, what do you teach in Corporate Women Unleashed? Well, let me show you. We show corporate women how to recalibrate how they approach their career and replace guilt with calm, confidence, and grace. In Corporate Women Unleashed, one of the first things we teach is how to be a high value contributor. Instead of being what I like to call reliable Betty, it's time to be incredible you and feel confident leveraging your prowess without having to work late. We all got to where we're at by working really hard, giving a lot of face time, and doing what it takes to get where you are. But that's not what's going to keep you at that leadership level. What's keeping you there is the high value contributions you make and understanding the big picture and what your inner value is. Because everyone else sees it or senses it, you've got to start leveraging it. And when you do that, you don't feel guilty when you say, ah, I'm going to skip that next business trip. I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, I'm leaving early today. I've got something else I need to take care of. It's not going to bother you because you know without a doubt what you are bringing to the table, not clinging to the table. Does that make sense? All right. Second of all, you have to start operating with autonomy. You've got to disconnect at the office and that requires an understanding of the behaviors that keep you caged. It is not freedom when the office always comes first. You should be moving fluidly at this point through your life. There are times when you want to be super creative, super connected, and super fulfilled at work, but you also need to be able to do that in your home life. Maybe it's your health. Maybe it's your spouse. So recalibrating your mindset and those behaviors that are so ingrained gives you the freedom to work and play according to your needs. And you're not going to feel guilty about it. You'll just know when to turn it on and when to turn it off. Make sense? And then finally, in Corporate Women Unleashed, what we do is coaching. Now, coaching is not giving you or doing for you the work. It's guiding you by giving you the foundation, the strategies to understand what you're missing and then helping you dial that in, mentoring you and helping you refine it so it works for you in your very own life. Does that make sense? So, one of the questions I also get is, yeah, but will it work for me? Can I enjoy a balanced life? Kate, you wouldn't believe my boss. You wouldn't believe my company. You wouldn't believe the stress I'm under. Yes, I do. If you have built a successful career, the answer is yes. You can absolutely build a successfully balanced life. You're going to take everything you've got that you've put into your successful career, and now you're just going to define what a successful life looks for you and use all those same skills and all that same passion and all that same drive. Now, you also need to be committed though. You've gotta be committed to learning successful strategies to disconnect. You've gotta be committed to learning how and when to prioritize your personal life and how and when to prioritize work. A lot of women don't know and we get muddled and then we just sort of throw in the towel because we're not sure what to do. So there's times when you need to lean in and there's times when you need to take your foot off the gas pedal, right? So. Having a guideline for when to do that and knowing when it's right for your life is going to give you confidence. And then you've got to be committed to exploring your own inner beliefs and that mindset and, and recalibrating it or, or even building onto it so that you can take all of that um, you know, amazing energy that you have and apply that behavior to achieving success at home as well as the office. Now, let's discuss some corporate women that we've helped to create fulfilling balanced lives because I want to inspire you. The first woman I want to introduce you to is Andrini. She had a amazing high pressure 20 year career as a director in analytics. 
She had the added uh, stress and pressure of being the breadwinner of her family, and she was also the mom of a teenage daughter. She was in the middle of a job search when she came to us, and she said, Kate, I'm terrified that with the next job, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to pick another high-stress, high-performing position, and I'm going to miss out on the last three years of my daughter's um, teenage life before she goes off to college. So we started working together, and here are the results that Andrini accomplished. First of all, she found a killer job with a company that she never would have looked twice at, but she saw now what she really wanted in her life. And she said, Kate, it's so amazing. It's fulfilling. I help people every day. My work has an impact. And she's not just a workhorse anymore. She is a powerful, talented woman who not only brings all of her expertise in analytics, but she also brings her ability to unite people around a common vision, and she's getting paid accordingly. She's also home every night at 5.30. The worst part of her new job is her commute. I think she has a 30 or 40 minute commute, but now she's listening to podcasts and she's made that bearable. Uh, no more laptop at home, no more smartphone. Going to yoga three or four times a week. Before she started working with us, she had a membership to a, like a massage. And she said, I couldn't even get a massage. For 10 months, she hadn't even gone. Now she does yoga three to four times a week. And she said, you know, my husband and I have always had a great relationship, but now we're closer than ever because I'm, I'm footloose and fancy free. I'm fun when I get home. I'm relaxed. I'm joyful. I'm playful. And best of all, she's active and present in the daily life of her daughter. Her daughter recently um, was planning for homecoming and all the girls came over to Andrini's house. She helped them put their moms together at night. She had snacks. You know, she didn't just lay everything out and then go in the other room and go back to work. She got to have fun with her daughter and enjoy the simple moments of life. Now, the other woman I want to introduce you to is Valerie. Valerie was the vice president of product marketing, and she had actually stepped down to a director position within her company, thinking that that would help her get better work-life balance, and it did not. Valerie was up in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. Uh, doing emails. She came home at night and crashed on the couch while she listened to her husband and daughters play outside, um, play basketball out in the backyard. Um, again, family breadwinner. And mom of two preteen daughters. And she said, Kate, I'm missing out. My husband is amazing. He's the dad that takes care of, you know, their schoolwork. He helps get them to school. He packs the backpack. He takes them to all their sporting events. He plans the birthday parties. But she says, dang it, I want to do that. I want to plan the birthday parties. I want to be the mom. And I'm not being the mom. She goes, birthday parties and picnics and play dates right now, those are just so stressful for me. I can't even imagine. So again, we started working together. And what Valerie very quickly started to realize is that she can be present and focused. Um, we got her off of her cell phone. We got her off of worrying about work and disconnecting so she could go to her daughter's weekday sport events, step away from the office, and not only just you know rush there, but be there on time and be relaxed in a pair of jeans and a sweatshirt instead of her business suit. She also started hosting her girls' playdates. She said, you know what, Kate? On Saturdays, we don't run errands anymore. I have play dates. I bake cookies. I get to do the mom stuff again. She's fully engaged in her daughter's lives and no longer distracted. She's not couch crashing anymore. When she gets home, they're playing games. They're cooking meals together. She's playing basketball with everyone else. And she's doing fun things for herself. Val had gotten so lost in the workload of her life that she didn't even know what to do. When we said, go have some leisure time, what would you do? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> So we had to give her something to do. Um, so we sent her to her room one night at 8.30. We said, you have to read a book that has nothing to do with work or personal development. It needs to just be some trashy novel and a glass of wine. And she said she left for an hour. Her family kept coming to the door and going, what's going on in there? Because she had so much fun getting back in touch with her. And best of all, guys, she's role modeling what she learned for her daughters. Her daughters aren't growing up to, to sacrifice success for their careers, they're learning that a balanced life is possible and that's what they should seek, fulfillment along with success. How beautiful is that? All right, well, I hope these stories were inspiring for you because these women have built success on their, on their own terms. They're amazing women and they're now navigating their career with confidence because they understand their true value and how to leverage their value to create win-win outcomes, right? And also they're present in the moment. These women also know the framework and the strategies that allow them to successfully unplug when it's time to play without feeling guilty. How beautiful is that? Both of these examples are women who just finally decided that work-life balance was no longer a nice to have, but a must have for them and their families. And they were committed to creating success 
in all areas of their life. And now they can literally apply what we've taught them anytime and anywhere. They're taking this with them. This is not something that just helps them today. This is something that helps them for life. It's an investment in them. Now, if you're as committed as these women, you can do the same right now. You just learn two of the best strategies to build a blissfully balanced life without sacrificing your successful career. So you can file this away, ladies, and not do anything about it. Go back to the craze and overwhelm that happens so often with a successful high achieving career. Or you can finally stop playing small and narrow and recognize that life can be defined as more than just work and create the life you and your family really deserve, the life that you're dreaming of, that you want. Here's how we can help. We have set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak with you personally about your career and how you can create work-life balance in your own life because every woman's life is different, right? Now, what we're gonna discuss on a 45 minute phone call is number one, we're gonna help you identify what is really preventing you from enjoying a balanced life. A lot of women think it's their job or their boss, and that's very often not the case. Uh, There can be a lot of different reasons that your life has gotten off balance, and we're gonna help you figure that out. Two, how you can begin to recalibrate your career to allow you more time for life. Once we pinpoint the cause, now we can better understand what are some of the things you can do about it. And then three, a clear vision of what work-life balance looks like for you and what's possible. A lot of women don't even know, right? So let's get some clarity on that for you. Now, the cost of the call is absolutely free. So what you want to do is go to kathleenbyers.com forward slash apply and schedule your free work-life balance breakthrough session. Now, here's the catch. It is not for everyone. So who is it for? First of all, you need to be a mid to senior level corporate woman. You do not need to be in the C-suite, but you also can't be a graduate fresh out of college. You need to have some miles on your career, if you will. Second of all, you need to be working, you know, 50 plus hours per week or more, most, most or more, and you're finding it difficult to disconnect. You may even be teetering on burnout or balance. Um, And it's just, even if you're enjoying your work, it's just really hard to be focused and present in the moment with your family. And then finally, you're committed and motivated to creating a successfully balanced life. This has to be exciting. This has to be like, oh my gosh, this is something I really want and I've been looking for. Balance, not just a new job, right? We're not a traditional career coach. We're just going to help you, you know, match your your personality attributes to a a new job. We're going to help you have the freedom and the control to create balance in any job. That's what we're about. So if that excites you and that defines who you are, then I want you to go to KathleenBuyers.com forward slash apply right now. If you are tired of the overwhelm, if you're teetering on burnout, if you no longer want your work to interfere with your family or your personal life, if you want to connect deeper, live more joyfully and be present in your own life now, and you are ready to get rid of guilt once and for all, go apply and pick a phone call. Now, Our criteria is, first of all, you have to be serious. Do not be a curiosity seeker. Don't just set up a phone call and say like, hey, yeah, I'm kind of curious. What's this work-life balance thing that you're doing? No, no. There are women who are truly needing to create work-life balance um, and they know it and they're excited. So you need to be serious. Second of all, you got to be willing to invest in yourself. We cannot convince you that you're important. (laughs) We just can't. So if you don't, aren't willing to prioritize yourself, your health, in your life, we can't do it for you. And then third, you need to be a decision maker. Um, Again, the women we work with, they are high achievers. um, They're successful. They're driven. They know how to make decisions um, and they're confident in the decisions that they make. So you you need to be someone who is ready to make decisions for you and your life as well. Um, If that describes you, go to KathleenBuyers.com and here's what you're going to do. You're going to see an appointment calendar. Pick a time that suits you. And if you don't see a time that works for your schedule, uh, just email us and we'll find one that works. And then fill out a short questionnaire. We are just going to ask you a few questions about your career and work-life balance goals. And that just helps us prep and be ready for that call. And then finally, show up. Show up for that work-life balance breakthrough session ready to focus on you. Don't be in your car. Don't be multitasking. Dedicate 45 minutes to you and your career and your life. Come ready with pen and paper, show up, and it will be the best 45 minutes you've had in a long time, I promise. 
So again, ladies, I want you to go to kathleenbyers.com forward slash apply. And I look forward to speaking with you on a breakthrough session.